the worst one yet. I gotta get this one out. I was trying to look up my police reports, find out exactly when I was in jail and for what. And weirdly, cases of suicide was the second thing that came up, and I was like, why? Oh, well, I guess. Did they write that they cuffed me and tortured me because they thought I was suicidal? Because that just, just cannot compete with that, people. I think I could go to California and they could chop off my head and it still wouldn't be that ridiculous. But yeah, I clicked on it and I was like, let's look at the faces of suicide. I probably know most of those people anyway. And weirdly, it's just people from now. And then there was one on the second row and it was John Quincy Adams' son, who, like Trevor Moore, fell off a steamboat. <laughs> Trevor Moore did fall off a steamboat just off of his balcony. Oh, now I have to make a leave John Quincy Adams a long video. You don't even know anything about that guy. I sure didn't. He got in trouble for naming his kid George Washington. <laughs> Wait till I name, Dennis and I name our child, Michael Gingtard Klotz, or Dexter Klotz. <laughs> no, we won't. Can we be the founding fathers of something? Just my cool off-Broadway show. My friend agrees it can be done. I said, I'm not gonna ask permission, we're just gonna do it. But we have to start in Detroit at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater where I'm highly welcomed by the homeless community. They'll be like, you came back. We've been trying to call you. They'll be like, yeah, but you watched me smash my phone. So they'll be like, true. They're pretty smart. They listen to what I say, I'm, even regardless of drugs and trauma. I'm like Dennis Klotz, who... Oh, good. See, Dennis makes me forget about things like John Quincy Adams' life. Horrible, wonderful life. Great. Now I have tears on my big stuff. Michael, you are so screwed, bro. Meat wad. Guess what? The they generated a password. I can't tell the whole thing because that's probably why I'm getting hacked. My generated password is Mountain for my new bank account. Michael, Michael, Michael. Just wait till I have 90 extra dollars to get that report. If I know everything about you, like I know about Kyle Elkins and when I know that for Wayne Boyd, he just told me of everything, including his address. His mom, dad's address. You guys have to go find this picture of him. <laughs> that she was at. Oh, I just completely forgot about John Quincy Adams. <coughs> Here's a picture of William Boynton. William cherished Boynton. In Tallahassee. Uh, on a white couch-ish. With his two blonde sisters. He has a small dog, and each of them has a small dog. And it might as well be a painting, but it's not. It's just them. I wish they were even I wish they were hamsters or gerbils. That's what uh, Dennis and Dexter or Michael or anybody who marries me from Perkin. Just, <laughs> but it will be a painting. We're going to force whoever is the worst painter on this dawn to dawn. We're going to find him. He'll paint it. We won't sit still. It'll just be, it'll be a blur. Hang in a blur. It'll just be like this. And then he will be capable of capturing. And while we're doing that, Inside Job will be banging on the piano a song that he composed about his horrible mother. But only if he wears the suit and underwear when he was three. Like Mozart. I really think he's the reincarnation of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now I don't have to name my child Wolfie. You guys leave inside job alone. Is he still on there? He was trying to flirt. He just doesn't know how. I think he's... Uh, I think his mom screwed him up so bad with all those concerts that he's nothing anymore. I was going to say INTJ, but uh, ISFB, I don't know. ENFB. I think he said he was an ENFP like Ocelot and white people could, those two people could not look more different. INFJs look similar, depending on life circumstances, they could look like this or like Adele. But Adele has looked very different, as has, uh, I was about to say, Cece, that's my daughter, that's the future. 
you to look at me. As soon as I get that 15 stitch check mark scar where God goes, Chuck plus. Something has to happen over here, Ocelot. Just an arrow just kind of graze it. I don't know if you can do that. He'll be like, I can only not hit my legs with a knife. I'll say, well, new challenge. I need it to graze it and just chop off a little bit of hair right there. Do what Vanilla Ice wants, my son. This little eyeball thing, he's a mom. I said, did you let the barber do that? And he goes, it's just natural. I said, I wish that you would get that excited about any book, a book. But instead, he was excited that he had a... And in this moment, Hobson, Vanilla Ice, what I would like to tell you is that as I was reading that and feeling bad about myself as a mother simultaneously, because here's all my divorce, boom, shit. We're talking about how I was abusive. Y'all abused me, well not Hobson. Caroline abused me, can I sue her in the future after I get her a bunch of money and then take it all back like a white man giver? You say Indian giver, I'm just gonna shoot you with an arrow. Bye!